Hello everyone, welcome to an all new Faith and Friends. It's been a few things, a few weeks since we've been with you this and some things nice. have changed. Changed just a little bit. Well, at least up we here on the set. I need a portion here and I can make it my bed. Your bed. It's big. What is the deal with Roomy. this couch? We're going to talk about it later on today. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed the school documentaries produced by John Ondo. Such a fantastic job on those. Uh, certainly glad to see that John can use his creative uh, abilities uh, to uh, really highlight some of the great schools. And it's hard to believe August is already here. High school sports practices, back to school sales, last minute vacations, it's all underway. I guess that makes it fitting that August is National Sports Awareness Month, but really, who's not aware of sports 365 days a year? I'm told it's also National Panini Month. Oh, Panini boy. Month, National Panini Month. That, those aren't the stickers. I will those watch are... that panini, Dan, with my green tea. It looks fluorescent on TV. <laughs> Thanks That's to Dr. just Tudy Gatorade. Keeper. That's just original Gatorade, no, isn't it? No, 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 no. On my nice glass Voss bottle. Is that handcrafted and uniquely made like your other mugs? It's from Norway. No. The bottle is from Norway. Not the tea. <laughs> panini the tea is mug. from Japan. We're not making paninis later in the show, but we are... Can enjoy some vegan treats. That's right. I'm a little yeah. nervous. I'll be honest, a little nervous. Here at TV44, it's the month for the auction, so be ready for a preview of the growing list of auction donations, including what we are sitting on. That's all coming up today. Also coming up, singer-songwriter Hannah Beck won the Creation Sunshine Festival Music Tournament Contest earlier this month. She has a new album out. We'll hear from her, and it's bug season and completely <laughs> Different topic <laughs> with no transition. It's bug season, bug bites. Do you have some? Dr. Trudy has some advice, and it is not to drink the fluorescent beverage. She would advise that. Though. Jennifer, but not, <laughs> not for, for the bugs. The bugs. <laughs> I mean, by drink it, it makes me like fluorescent around and the bugs will you look like You look like you're drinking lightning bugs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. First, we have some excellent advice. <laughs> From the best source of all. It's firefly juice. The butt. <laughs> Jennifer, put aside the firefly <laughs> toxins that are good for you and read. Well, it is <laughs> National Panini Month, whether these guys believe me or not. We do not. So today we're focusing on bread. John 6, 32 to 37 says, Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, Moses did not give you the panini from heaven. I mean, <laughs> bread. My father gives you the true bread from heaven, for the bread of God is he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Then they said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have not seen me and yet do not believe. All that the father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will by no means National Panini Month, but a panini is nothing compared to the bread of life, that bread of life being Jesus. Yeah, promises from our Lord delivered musically in song rang out last weekend during the annual Music in the Park. Jennifer was one of the many who took a time to enjoy a sunny afternoon in the village of Westminster. It happens every year on a certain Sunday in July. The village of Westminster experiences a short-term population boom, and this past July 26th was that day. Hundreds gathered under the big tent to enjoy an afternoon filled with worship and praise, Christian comedy and song from Tim Lovelace, contemporary favorites from Among the Thirsty, and the Perrys bringing the sweet sound of Southern gospel. This was music in the park. Churches from Lafayette, Herod, Westminster, Lima, and more came together to make this event a reality, with many area organizations donating food and other supplies to provide an all-inclusive, all paid for family friendly event a unified voice praising our father in heaven if you missed this year's music in the park plan to attend next year the fourth sunday in july this local singer songwriter was part of last year's music in the park lineup since that time hannah beck has performed at venues large and small in areas all throughout the united states including wisconsin matt finkel caught up with her that's right, Andy. It's already been an exciting year for Hannah Beck. The local musician just released her third album last month, and it's a bit of a change from her first two. Working with a new producer and going after a different sound, Beck is reaching a wide audience and getting rave reviews. What is written on you? That's the question Hannah asks, and the six-song EP shows Beck's personal journey of growth and evolution. 
I thought I was over you. My first album, um, the EP that we did, was a collection of just some things that I had written. And I was 16 at the time, you know. And then when we came back the next year, we brought in a, a little bit of a different view on things. It really was after that I really start to feel my heart turning from simply just worship or um, inspirational songs to writing music that really reaches people. I was being the girl I was made to be. The goal is not necessarily to just stay within the doors of the church, but ultimately get beyond that, get to people who wouldn't normally be turning on Christian radio, find the people who, who are really struggling, who are broken, who feel like they're alone in whatever they're going through, and just show them that, that there are other people out there, that there is hope and they're not alone. As it says in scripture, Jesus went to those who were, were despised, the sinners, the people nobody really wanted to be around. And that's kind of who I want to get the album to. And that came through the two years, I mean, a lot changed, getting married, just getting eye-opening experience. All of that set it off to make this album different. The album was recorded in Studio City, California and produced by Nathan Walters, who collaborated with Hannah to deliver a dramatic sound to go along with her edgy vocals. To fund the album, Beck raised money through a Kickstarter campaign and was blown away by the support. It's very humbling to have people jumping on board. It's just an incredible feeling to know that somebody believes in you that much. It does, did also put, make me feel like I had a lot of pressure though because I really felt a huge responsibility to give them something back that they could appreciate and enjoy. With the music released, Hannah has begun to tour and perform live. In July, she traveled to Kentucky for the Ichthys Festival and followed that up by winning the Sunshine Music Festival Tournament in Wisconsin, beating out unsigned artists from across the country. When I won the music tournament, I really was surprised because I had got myself into my own little world up there on stage and I, I didn't really expect it because there's, there's genres here who are everything from rap to punk rock and then you have me who was kind of the anomaly because there, there was no other single solo female. It was surprising and super exciting because it was like all of this work, this nine and a half hour drive, it just became something. Now she enters a pool of other festival winners for a chance to tour at 28 Christian music festivals in 2016. And most importantly to Hannah, the music is resonating. This is such a new approach. I was honestly really nervous, like I had a knot in my stomach for a while, like people are expecting me to be the worship, the kind of singer, but we're going to come out with this and the sound is different and the lyrically it's different. It approaches life differently. Just seeing how everywhere we go, everyone is like, oh my goodness, this is awesome. That means that they're catching the vision. What about me? I seem to be lost in a house full of mirrors, house made of cards. The future is bright for Beck, and she's excited for whatever it brings. You want to keep bringing music that impacts people, and I definitely feel like this set of six songs were carefully selected and have already served their purpose. For now, we're just plugging away and continuing to do what we've always done. You push me. Hannah will be performing at Wayne Stock at Skip Bachman Stadium in St. Mary's on August 22nd. It's her third time singing at the event, and she can't wait to share her new sound with the growing audience. Jennifer? Thank you, Matt. Wayne Stock is not the only summer concert still to come this year in the area. On the very same day, August 22nd, Hawk Nelson will be in Continental, Ohio. Go to itickets.com for more information on that event. And then we have some great music coming up at the county fairs, August 2nd through 8th. This week is the Auglaise County Fair, or coming up, rather. Here's a look at their nightly lineup. Legacy 5 on August 3rd, the Browns on August 6th. And for all you Gaither lovers, Guy Penrod wraps up the week every night. A great group is scheduled at the Gospel Tent.
The Allen County Fair Gospel Music Tent features nightly 7 p.m. entertainment. Here's a look at the lineup for August 21st through the 29th. It includes Triumphant Quartet on August 24th at 7, The Browns Wednesday, August 26th, and don't forget an entire day of musical enjoyment on Thursday the 27th for Golden Age Day at the Allen County Fair. They always yeah. honor the longest, the couple who's been married the longest and oh, the cool. oldest individuals in very fun to be out there for that. We look forward to that and we also look forward to a jam-packed schedule of great Christian music at the Van Wert County Fair as well. Here's what you can enjoy there. The event kicks off Thursday, September the 3rd. Tribute Quartet at 5 p.m. Then take a look at what you'll find each night at 7. Karen Peck and New River on Friday. Sold Out Quartet, certainly making the local rounds this year. Enjoy them Saturday and a 6 p.m. Mark Bishop performance on Sunday. Then Ball Brothers at 7, Sidewalk Profits again 7 on Monday. View the complete schedule at VanWorkCountyFair.com. Well, what do you want to avoid when you're, you head out to those outdoor concerts? Bug bites, of course. Well, what's the most natural way to do so? And how do you handle it after those pesky bugs have managed to find a way to attack you? Important questions that Zach and Dr. Trudy Peeper answer some practical advice for this time of year. Well, if you spent any time in our area outside lately, you've noticed some pesky little bugs. The mosquitoes are certainly out alive and well this year, and Dr. Trudy is joining us now to talk a little bit about mosquito and bug prevention and some natural ways that we can do that, um, and maybe omitting some of the harmful chemicals and such that we find. And so, Dr. Trudy, thank you for being on with us today. It's always a pleasure, and we have had 20 straight days of rain. Wow. And so we know with that, that brings mosquitoes. Absolutely. And the first the way is to try to get rid of those mosquitoes mm -hmm. and make sure you don't have them around your house, and mm -hmm. then you don't have to worry about being bitten. And drain anything with standing water. So with all the rain, Zach, yeah. dump out all those pools of water that are standing around the house because they need the water to breed. And so you'll have more mosquitoes right. the more water you have standing <laughs> so around. So hitting them at the source to begin with. Exactly. And then marigolds. Planting really? marigolds. There is the, the aroma, the oil from the marigolds really fights off the mosquitoes. They do not hmm. like that. So the more around your barbecue area, your patio, if yeah. you plant marigolds, then you'll keep the mosquitoes away. Okay. My favorite, my kids were in shop class, which shows you how old my kids are, <laughs> but they all made bat boxes. Uh. And we put bat boxes on our house and on our barn to kept the, and it's fun to watch the bats darting around at night sure. eating the insects. Mm -hmm. And then a simple way to keep them away if you are outside is a house fan. Um, if you just blow the wind, then that keeps them out of your really? face as you're outside. Wow, so those are some prevention techniques that maybe you hadn't thought of, and so certainly take those to heart. And then there are some other ways you have listed here, and quite a few, quite a different, few different options, so let's hit a few of those. Well, you can be creative. If you do get a bite from a flea, gnat, spider, hmm. mosquito, bed bugs, ticks, um, you can do this naturally. And one thing is you, if you have them all over, you've just, just been out gardening and you've got yeah. mosquito bites all over, get in the tub with some apple cider vinegar and that cool. will help the itching and also help them to heal. Now, uh, okay, three cups I see. Did, yes. I didn't know if we needed a whole bathtub full of apple no, cider vinegar. No, 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 that would be a lot, wouldn't it? That would be a lot. Yeah, three cups in your bath. Okay. Thank you, Zach, yeah. yes. <laughs> uh, if you do get a bite, there's several things that you can just place immediately on the bite. A black, wet black tea bag, mm. uh, a slice of cucumber, a slice of lemon or lime. All of those are anti-itch and anti-inflammatory. Okay. My favorite, though, is aloe vera. Uh, leaf and mm -hmm. I think everybody should have an aloe plant in their house and anytime you get a burn or a bite of any kind yeah. break off the tip of that and take that gel and rub on there. Okay and now I see one here on the list that my wife I, I shared recently has used lately and has been very effective been very impressed that's tea tree oil. I like tea tree oil. The problem is it's very fragrant. It yeah. smells. Yes, it is. So I use it. Yes, to that. Use it at bedtime <laughs> when you're not going to be around anybody else. But if you're, if particularly if it's been infected, it looks mm -hmm. like it's not. If it's gotten worse and redder, then you'd want to use the tea tea tree hmm. oil to fight off the infection. But uh, another good one is chamomile tea, hmm. which you can drink it keeps you calm so you don't itch. Sure. But also then externally rub it in on there. It contains quercetin, which is a natural antihistamine, will, which will reduce the swelling. Wow, okay, and so finally then you have lemon and lime and what can those do for us? They are anti-itch. If, if you're just itching like crazy and you can't stop a little, squeeze a little lemon or lime on it hmm. and it'll stop the itching. 
So many different ways, many natural different ways that we can maybe take care of some of those uh, pesky uh, bug bites this summer. Dr. Tutti, thank you so much for being on with us again. We always appreciate having you. It's my pleasure. Thanks, Doc. All right. Well, stop itching out there, and we're going to send it back to you guys. Take it away. Thank you, Zach. WOSN is the title sponsor for the second annual FCA Legends of Northwest Ohio Banquet last month, an event that brought 14 college and professional athletes from our area back home together to share their faith. And he tells us about a weekend that will be impacting hundreds who got a chance to be part of it. Three big events taking place during a 28-hour window, all with the common goal of allowing athletes and coaches to share their faith in Jesus Christ and to be encouraged in their spiritual journey. Started Friday at Elida with the Basement Doctor Legends Football Camp, where 20 high school coaches joined another 20 high school, college, and professional football players, teaching around 200 kids the fundamentals about the game and how to carry themselves in life. Each kid got a Bible and a cinch sack and walked away knowing that God loved them and had a plan for them. You know, you just see the fire in like some of those kids' eyes when they're getting down, ready to go. Then two events the next day, the Lima First Assembly of God Golf with the Legends outing, followed by the WOSN Legends of Northwest Ohio Banquet, stirring testimonies of how God was working in the athletes' lives. Denver Broncos quarterback Zach Dysert, an Ada grad, lost his mom Carla this past fall to an auto accident. He reflected on how God was carrying him through. I mean, it was pretty shocking, obviously, and... It's pretty tough still. Uh, you have good days and you have bad days. Um, but, I mean, like you said, I mean, I, I believe, I, I try to tell myself this, that everything happens for a reason. And, you know, I don't ever, I'm ne I'll never know what that reason was or is. But, uh, you know, that's what I just keep telling myself. And, I mean, it's brought me and my family a lot closer. Throughout college and his time in Denver, Zach's mom would text him Bible verses each day to help him through whatever life was sending his way. You know, uh, I mean, I still have all of her texts, to be honest, and uh, so I still read them almost every day, and it, I mean, it helps. The night concluded with a conversation with professional golfer Dylan Klein, who moved from Delphus to South Carolina to pursue his dream last summer. I've been down there since August, and it was not a pleasant experience. I mean, let's just put it that way. Let's just put it easy. It's not a pleasant, it wasn't a pleasant experience for me at all. Um, I came home at Christmas time and I met with Andy and Chipotle and I literally broke down and cried in front of probably 75 people that were in Chipotle because it was right around lunchtime. <laughs> and I literally told Andy, I said, I have, I have to find the Lord again. I have to. I'm, I'm at the lowest low that I've been at in my entire life. I was ready to walk away from professional golf. I mean, it's been such a grind just these first 10 months. But it's something that I look back on and there have been so many positives that have come from so many negatives mm -hmm. in my life. Some people might think, oh, that's a killjoy. That's no fun. Is your, fun more, is your life more or less joyful since you've been following Jesus? A thousand times more joyful. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not even, it's not even close. It's... Uh, <laughs> It's, it's honestly, it's hard for me to sit up here and say that before seven months ago that like I really was not super in touch with the Lord. Like I feel horrible saying that now that I've experienced truly, you know, really diving all into to the Lord and, and understanding what the scripture means and, you know, learning every something new every day with you, especially. 34 folks committed or recommitted their lives to Christ that night as we all journey together in this walk of faith. Thank you, Andy. Well, how often do you find yourself scrambling for a quality made meal when you have very little time to prepare it? So many additives and preservatives put in prepared foods. How do you find something quick and healthy? Well, in today's Lost Creek Rehabilitation and Care Center food segment, we're sampling Vistro Meals, a company that focuses on not just quality and efficiency, will also deliver straight to your door. Well, in today's Lost Creek Care Center food segment, we are going to do a special product demonstration and we are all going to try something we've never tried before. Brand new opportunities for us to discover something handy. <laughs> got my fork handy. ready to go. I don't like to try new things. I like handy. my routine. You got the two well, piggiest eaters. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> here's the deal. We, are, we, are, we are spotlighting 
special meals from vistro.com. If you ever, you know, like you're, you're thinking, I, like that name. I, I, I just don't want to cook or I don't have time to cook or everything that's quick and easy is really not healthy. Well, vistro.com, it's a brother and sister team came together and said, how can we provide good plant-based food with quality ingredients to people, ship it to their door, and provide them a way to have quick and easy meals that are also healthy. And that's what we have today. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of their options from vistro.com. And I'm looking at your face because you don't like vegetables, <laughs> but today's the day. We're going to prove that. We'll out. give it a shot. I mean, We're going to prove that there I are some potatoes, vegetables. I see potatoes, and I see a burrito, and I see some stir fry. Some chicken stew, Thai chicken stew. Red curry with veggies. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get right into it. Yeah, guys, I'm gonna let right. you pick Can the we pick first our one. Favorites? Okay. Okay. We'll so Andy's burrito. going for the breakfast burrito. burrito. Chai chicken stew We've got for me. Some kind of. Matt is dressing. going for the Thai chicken stew. And potatoes. These are potatoes, right? Yes. Oh, it's hot. Hot, hot as in like spicy, spicy hot. Yeah. Ah. But it's actually pretty good. How was yours? It's a potato. Yeah. I'm good. Can I try That's your so potato? Yeah, yeah, help yourself. I'll dig into the burrito here. The burrito looks now we actually we did microwave all of these meals, but if you look on the directions, most of them actually say that oven would be the preferred method mm. of making these meals. It's gonna take a little bit longer, but the quality is probably going to be better. In fact, there are some of the meals that re, re, um, encourage to defrost overnight. Just a little bit of advanced prep to get things ready. But everything is here. It's available. And hey, you're a single guy. You know, you could just go home and have this ready to go. And I do eat a lot of frozen pizzas, but I don't usually do frozen <laughs> microwavable food. But I'm not. I was gonna. I was gonna be honest. I was really skeptical. Skeptical coming in. This is pretty good. This burrito is pretty yeah, good. Yeah. This is not bad. I would eat this. 100. Wow. percent These guys are. These guys are are, are Maui way. Now me being a. I love vegetables. I love. I can't get enough vegetables. So I was really looking forward to trying to make them eat some things. But as you can see, they're doing it rather easily. What else we have? This is the enchilada casserole. Now we did not make this one oh, because okay. it is something that is recommended to um, defrost it overnight in your refrigerator. Um, we also have a Tuscan calzone. That's also one that would be really good, good to do in the um, in the oven because you know in the microwave calzones get a little bit um, soggy. You're we holding out on us on the calzone, I see. Well, maybe for a future segment, you just never know. How about some red curry, guys? Anyone want to try red curry or mm. some other? <laughs> I still curry? got plenty of burrito right now. Yeah, I think I'll stick with the. Uh, do you know through. the health benefits of curry? There's so many positive health benefits of curry. Tell me. Why don't you dig in and let me know how it is? I'll let you know how it is. Red curry. Let's see here. What are the benefits? Oh no, she has a mouthful. Oh, I'll hey, that sauce. There's a peanut sauce. That's pretty good peanut I'll try sauce. A little peanut sauce. In. Is that rice? Couscous. Could be couscous broccoli. Hey, okay, broccoli's good. Oh, bad. Definitely a peanut sauce. Yeah, it's very peanutty. All right, so as you see Let's here, the there's burritos. just an array of options from vistro.com. They also have special gluten free options. If you're like looking for a broth based or soup based program, they have that as well. They have um, juicing cleanses, yeah, good all kinds of like things. Peas. In the end, the focus <laughs> is sauce. to be able to provide like you really sauce. good, healthy items to your door. French fries you don't have there. to go get no. them, yeah, but yet you can eat very well. Well, I'm going to let these guys continue eating. As you can see, we have successfully got them we made it. to eat vegetables and like it. Gotta say, not bad. Thank you to vstore.com for providing these samples. If you have more, inf well, for more information, you can go to our website, faithandfriends.wtlw.com to find out more. Well, certainly a great place to find some incredible food. Coming up September 12th, you'll probably perhaps go hog wild. That will be at the TV44 auction as Pastor Tom Durth in the County Line Church of the Brethren again planning a great food lineup, which also includes grilled hamburgers, chicken legs from representatives at Holland Grill. I can't believe we are literally about six weeks yes. from the TV44 auction. Of yes. course, we've been telling you about this great sectional sofa provided, but that's not all provided by the granary that's right that's not all we also have you almost picked up your toxic water <laughs> I wonder if we'll auction off the toxic water on <laughs> september 12th as well that is green tea everybody that is it would look better than that water. ohio state glass you, though you, look at this. so you could have your own ohio state group look you even have a, a 
I, it's worth more now that it's been on Andy's head. Here we also, go. Also, a, a Brutus Lawn ornament. Ho, ho, ho. Brutus Lawn ornament. Here. Oh, cool. Uh, there you go. You can hold that with your. There you go. And time for the big unveil. No, no, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm a Buckeye. And <laughs> we have this great set of vintage Samsonite luggage. I've been hearing that this is kind of becoming all the rage. What is inside it under the lining oh. is my question. Ooh. I think we'll just let you find out. Treasure map. Like. Yes. One of four pieces right here. Very nice. Very sturdy. Um, that is sturdy. They don't make luggage like they used to. Uh, I'll tell you that much. So you mean many... there's no wheels on that thing? <laughs> well, the larger next, maybe next week's show, we'll unveil all four pieces. This is called a lar large milk This is milk a picture. longer burger pottery. Um, so, you know, a little bit of everything you can find here at the TV44 auction, which is September 12th, and we are accepting donations. And also, is um, a matching all, serving every day. bowl. We'd like your donations. That well. That's right. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Very nice. Heavy. Put the gravy on one side. Not as heavy as Brutus, but heavy. So we've got some nice things for the yard, some things for your man cave. We got some good things for the kitchen, and we've got a giant plastic pig. Oh! Ah! You sure it's plastic? I think it's Porcelain. real. I as. I'm pretty sure it is not porcelain, I'll say that much. <laughs> that is a four and a half foot long replica pig. You know, if you've ever been wanting to live out in the country and you just haven't made it there, this could be a way that makes you feel more at home on that farmland. You know, we, we've got coop dreams on TV44 this month. Maybe this will inspire you to have a, a pigsty fantasy. You can even make them a Buckeye fan you know, if you last want. year we had the cow. And the cow got a very nice home in yeah. Rockford with Brandit Marketing. How's the cow doing? Have we heard? Well, I'm wondering. Little cows have come I'm along. I'm wondering maybe? if the pig is missing the cow. Uh, oh, well, that's an interesting thought. Or maybe they should get together for breakfast. Bacon and this pig could be sausage. yours. If you must come to the TV44 <laughs> auction, though, and of course, it's not just the pig that you're going to want to bid on. Look at all of the other incredible items that we've already received and we will be receiving every day. Go to our website, WTLW.com, to view pictures. We're updating them almost every single day. Lots and lots and lots of amazing things that uh, we're going to find on this auction block. Here's course. multiple angles of the pig on, on the website. You can see the face. And if you would really like to see this pig, you can even come out and check it out firsthand so you can find out if it's just, if it's going to fit in your living room. Here's the deal. Our, our desire is to fill our TV station with auction donations, and we still have plenty of room. We can make room. The pig can go upstairs. We'll find room for the pig if you want to bring up your uh, donations. So hook up your trailer to the truck. Ask your neighbor for help. Feel free to bring in your items by the truckload. Auction items accepted Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you have any questions, give us a call at 419-339-4444. Don't forget this year's auction date, September 12th. It's a little bit later because Labor Day is a little bit later, but September 12th is this year's auction. And of course, this year's auction is one of the key fundraisers for this viewer-supported TV station. I want to say thank you to all who have already been partnering with TV44 financially, especially in these summer months when sometimes donations don't come in as much. Now, here's a reminder, there are several giving options. You can donate auction items, you can volunteer, you can donate financially, and you can mail, call, donate online, or sign up for an automatic monthly withdrawal. You want to support TV44 every month. You don't want to have to remember to write that check or make that payment online. You can sign up for automatic uh, giving. It certainly makes it easier on you, and it helps us to know that that money is coming in each and every month. So we appreciate all those who have done just that. Automatic monthly giving is a safe and reliable way to continue partnering with TV44, even when life gets busy for you. So find out more by calling us at 419-339-4444 or email contact at WTLW.com. Now before we close, let's take one final look at our scripture verse of the day, John 6, 32-37. Then Jesus said to them, Most assuredly I say to you, Moses did not give you the bread from heaven, but my Father gives you the true bread from heaven. For the bread of God is the he who comes down from heaven and gives life to the world. Then they said to him, Lord, give us this bread always. And Jesus said to them, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me shall never hunger, and he who believes in me shall never thirst. But I said to you that you have seen me and yet do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and the one who comes to me I will by no means cast out. The Lord will not cast you out. He is there for you all the time. 
same today as he was yesterday as he will be tomorrow. That's going to do it for us this week on Faith and Friends. Don't forget to join us all month long as we continue to show you some more great auction items, maybe even some more inanimate livestock. Just have to find out.